It is true God wants to use you. Amen. But there are many people who disappointed you. That's true. And you must, you must forgive everyone. Okay. You hear me? Yes. This is your message today, persecution. Because you have been persecuted by people you trust. True that. Eh? True. God loves you. You will make it. Let me touch you here. Come on. You know why I'm praying for you? It's only when you sleep, you see attacks coming to you. True eh? that. True. When I pass here, when I was praying for that one, you always see a woman coming to you. True eh? that. True that. And this woman come to sleep with you. Bring him, bring him. That's why, though you are wearing like this, you are suffering too much. True that. Uh -huh. True. Sir, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also confirm the prophecy that you received today? My name is uh, Innocent Mutengwe. I'm from Toyando Venda. So the man of God prophesied to me. He was telling me about the things that is happening in my life about the problem that I'm facing and also the attack, the prophecy is true. Believe in Jesus Christ and he will set you free in everything. You don't yeah, want her to come here. Yeah, she mustn't come here. You shut Why? up. You, don't want you are to not come. supposed to be here today. Huh? You are not supposed to be here today. We don't want this woman here. Why? No, it's because we want to destroy her. You want to destroy yeah, her? Yeah, we are taking her things now. Uh, we are taking her things now because her she things. wants to give a lot in this church. She wants to give a lot. Yeah, and she's very quiet because she knows she knows very well what is her plan for this church. <laughs> you live in Jesus' name. <laughs> My sister, come here. This thing is eating your stomach. You feel something eating you. Yeah, the doctor said this endometriosis. Huh? What? Endometriosis. What is that? It's eating you, like something is biting you. Yes. Doctors are just giving it a name. It's a demon. I call it a demon. Yeah. Ma'am, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also confirm the prophecy that you received from the man of God today, whether it was true or not. Uh, my name is Catherine. I'm from Tembisa. Uh, the prophecy that the man of God has prophesied is true. I do have a problem in my stomach. I did go to the doctor. They said I have endometriosis. Endometriosis, when they said, when you're on your periods, the other blood come out, the other one doesn't come out. So they need to do operation and remove the other blood that is remaining in your womb. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers? Out? Continue to trust in God because God will never disappoint you. Uh, whatever that you are facing, you just know that one day God will remember you. Brother, what were you doing in the morning? What were you doing? When? Yesterday. You um, never went to the mall yesterday? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, I went to buy something for my son. I can't hear you. I went to buy something for my son. Your son, I want yes. to pray for you. Eh? I want to pray for your finances. Yes. You hear me? Yes. Can I pray for your financial breakthrough? Yes, true. Eh? Yes. It's not what you are crying for. Eh? It's true. It's true. Yeah, because I'm seeing you uh, with two children. Eh? That's true, yes. But your wife was not there. Yeah, she was not there. And you, you, are, you are trying to buy something. Yes. Let me touch you. You are going to succeed. Thank you. You are going to succeed financially. Thank you. I am Tumelo Papul. I'm from Whitbank. Um, the man of God approached me about my whereabouts yesterday. Well, um, I couldn't recall immediately where I was. But, uh, but after he, re he, he, he reminded me or he prompted me, I could recall that indeed I was at the mall 
to buy my son some items for his uh, school reopening. Yes. yes, he mentioned my area of finance and it is indeed very true. Uh, this is one item that I've been praying for for a while because my finances were not where they supposed to be. And by merely mentioning that and especially the striking uh, accuracy of the prophecy regarding my whereabout yesterday, really it, it convinced me uh, that indeed it is God speaking because, yes. What can you say to the viewers out there? It, is that um, I should encourage everyone that whatever your situation, God sees it. And if you avail yourself in his house where his spirit, uh, which is like the eye of an eagle, sees, your problem could be put bare and the solution be provided. Thank you, sir. Stay blessed. Thank you very much. Please don't do business. Yeah? There's this mind that comes to you concerning business. Amen. Huh? Yes, my Lord, I was praying. Don't do business. Wait for God's time. God will help you. Huh? You say? No. Huh? No. You say what? No. This you want friend. to confuse him? Yes. You want to confuse him? I closed for the interview that he did. Huh? I closed the interview that you went for. You will never refuse a call from... You are trying to confuse him. Yes. You did what? You want to be a TV presenter. You went for an interview. No call. I've closed it all. Now you are making him to think business. Yes. Why do you make him to think business now? Because that is a great opportunity for him to be a TV presenter. Okay, yeah? Because that is a great opportunity for him to be a TV presenter. There is no way. I touch you from that stomach in Jesus' name. Uh, the prophecy that I received yes. today, it was true. Because yes. I was planning to do business uh, and I was Save failing to Jesus. plan because the mentality that I was having, I was having so big mindset of doing business, but nothing was working out for me. Come. November is a great month for you. You, you have been thinking, raise up, raise up. you have been thinking about something. Yes. That I won't mention here. Amen. But it will happen in November. Amen. You hear me? Thank you, Jesus. Because everything that you will do collapse. Yes, that's eh? true. That's true, Daddy. But November is a great month for you. Amen. Yeah. I if, you, if you can get money, you will do something. Amen. That's true. Eh? That's true, Daddy. Especially on the marriage side. Amen. Br bring him. You break the record. My name is Tawo Mavilivili. I stay in Centurion. Yes, the prophecy that the man of God just said is very true. Mm, I've been doing business, but lately the things have been down. And he spoke about this, something that I'm thinking about, uh, especially in the issue of marriage. Yes, that's what I've been planning and I believe God for that. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? They must keep on believing. They must never give, in, give up. There is a grace that is sufficient for all of us in Jesus' name. Brother, you want God to use you, yes. but, but you must live right. It's true. Huh? It's true, Apostle. I can't hear you. It's true. I say you must live right. Yes, it's true. If God wants to use you, you are still looking around like this. This will put you in danger. You'll be sick. Thank you. You understand? Thank you, Apostle. Because you yourself always, you are looking. Thank you, Apostle. Even when you came here, devil was saying, look around. You look around. Thank you, Apostle. Huh? It's true. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, it's true. Yeah, so stop looking around. Look up. You know, what you can do, believe in fasting. Thank you. Believe in what? In fasting. In fasting. So that maybe when you are hungry, you won't have this desire. You will no, overcome this desire. You will make it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Avast. Can you confirm what I'm saying? Uh, 
what you are saying is true. It's true, Apostle. Uh, I even came with... Uh, the lady is coming. Yes. Yeah. yeah, she's the one that I came with. So now your focus is do fasting, be serious, because the issue of this one is beautiful, that one is beautiful, it's your life. It's true. Even this lady, she might have seen that. Yeah. It's not true, true, sister. It's very true, Papa. Yeah? It's very true. You, you have seen that? Yes, Papa. That you have got a problem? Yes. Always you'll be looking, looking at you, uh, and looking at another one, like that. So the question is, when is he going to marry? That's the question. Yes. Yeah? I'm struggling to marry. Huh? I'm struggling to marry. You're struggling? I'm struggling a lot. So how can you marry when you are this one? That one. You want to marry this one? Yes, I want to marry. Are you sure? Yes. You want to marry this one? Yes, I want to marry this one. What about that, that other one? We fought, we fight about it. Huh? She found about it, then we fight, we fight with it. Then you did what? We fight. You are fighting? No, we, she was not happy about that one when uh, she found out ab about her. She was not happy. Yes. And you did what? I I leave that one. Then I was praying so that I can focus to her. But she called you. Yes, it's true. She called me. And what is it that you did? Then I cancel the numbers and everything. Huh? I cancel her numbers. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, you, just, you you are saying you cancel the number, but she's in your heart here. You, you are confused, and I can't blame you. This is the spirit of your family. You people here, to marry is a problem. Yes, it's true. Huh? It's true. You, no one who marries. No one marry. you have children outside. Yes, it's huh? true. It's true. So, you want to marry this one? Please help us. Please. But why you come and sit here on the line of pastors when you are doing like this? Because you are with this lady now. You are looking around. You are also looking on this one. You, you, all these people of this color are your problem. It's true. Huh? It's true. So God loves you. Eh? Please help us, men of God. Let me pray for you. You want to marry him? Hey, Daddy, if it's in line with the plan of God. Huh? If it's in line with the plan of God. I want to pray. Do you want to marry him? Yes or no? Yes, Daddy. Huh? Yes, Daddy. Don't, don't, bl don't put God and say, I want to marry him. Do you want to marry him? Yes, Papa. You love him, no? I so, love him, Daddy. So why now you say plan of God? <sighs> Here your heart is. Also, she, she was disappointed. There's a brother who disappointed this woman. There's a spirit in this lady. She told you? Yes, she always shared it. Come on, you demon. Come on. Come on, you demon. Ouch. Leave it. Ouch. Ouch. Come on. Huh? You don't want her to marry also. Eh? Why you don't want her to marry? Eh? Why? You don't want her to marry? Eh? Come on. Leave her, leave her, leave her. She's free. She's free. Brother, you will marry. I was coming here. Come on. Out. Out. Sister. Sister, go and marry. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Huh? Thank you so much. We've been struggling. We came here just for that. We were so confused. We were you came crying. here for? For just that thing. To find a confirmation to God so that we may marry. Everything that the man of God spoke today concerning concerning my life it was true wherever I was I, I was not sure about 
whom to take and, and marry. I was always looking around and I, I have a, a, a problem about uh, this thing of getting married because even, even in my family, when the man of God was saying that even in my, in my family there's a big problem concerning marriage, uh, it was truth because even, even my brother, he is not married. Everyone in my family, we struggle to get married. And, and I also reached 30 without getting married and I was so worried. Uh, my word of encouragement, I just want to tell people that uh, there is God in heaven who knows every secret that we are hiding in our lives and the way we are struggling. And God is able to deliver us in everything.